good luck. Right, bye. bye. Thanks. <laughs> All right, everybody Hi, joining Rachel. us. Hi. <laughs> um, this is such a... <laughs> Thanks for joining me for this live. Us? Um, joining comments us. Comments are on. <laughs> comments are, are they on? I don't even know. Oh, here they are. Show comments. Oh, no, I just hit them. That was fun. I'm, I'm like, this is the best day to go live, by the way, because... My mic attachments aren't working. My lighting is not working. Um, <laughs> my brain is I not working. I did a show this morning. Everything was fine. I got on just now and I couldn't hear anything for some reason. And she was trying to blame me. You were trying to blame me. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, it's not it me. Even though tech does not like sorry. me, it's not me. <laughs> but sorry. sorry. I tell you. Mercury is in retrograde. So <laughs> I, I just think that's, that's the issue with all... I am also, I'm moving and I just put my house up for sale. It's listed officially on MLS. Anyone who wants to buy a home, you know, in, in Austin or outskirts of Austin. Um, but yeah, I, off my light. I, was right. I, I packed all my things up and all my attachments for all my, my camera, whatever is all missing. So this is what we get today. <laughs> this is, this is it. Maybe I can even brighten this. Is my it. Yeah. So, yeah, how I, are you? I was too bright. Uh, fine. <laughs> People are probably wondering why we look like this, Rachel. Why? 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 Why do we look like this? Because this is how we always look when we talk to each other. <laughs> this is. This we usually is. look worse. <laughs> <laughs> usually do look worse. <laughs> but, yeah, no. Um, we're supposed to record a show, and it's my fault because I'm trying to get ready for this house staging or whatever I haven't had time and then you were saying that you had some questions about like inflammation or whatever and I was like let's just do it on the show and then we didn't have time so you were like let's just go live I'm like okay sure let's go live <laughs> let's do it fly by the seat of our pants that's kind of our thing yeah so Ish. here we are live. but while we talk about it um, whatever your questions were, I was like, I need, to, I'm going to, I'm coming home straight from work and I'm going to look like this. So I'm going to be washing my face off. And this is something, this, this is for only people who are watching right now, which is not a lot, luckily, because this is mostly for those who are in my intimate circle only see me without my eyebrows on, which I'm going to take off. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're going to do a little pampering afternoon of beauty kind of thing while we chat about stuff which is what we kind of do anyway so we're just gonna let you guys see it this time yeah okay so ready i actually don't have any makeup on except for my eyebrows because i don't go anywhere without my eyebrows <laughs> vicky you know this <laughs> i do I, yeah what what is the one thing <laughs> that you need everyone always says like if you're stranded on a deserted island you need your eyebrows i need my eyebrows I need my eyebrow pencil um, I also have scars because I was uh, in a fight. Um, that's another story. But <laughs> <laughs> gangsta. It was. It was. Um, yes, I have these scars that are still healing, and that's why I, I need to use this um, Korean skincare and face masks and stuff. So here we go. We're taking off. Taking off yeah. eyebrows. Walk us through your. Walk us through your routine. What are you using to take it off? Um, this is just micellar, micellar water. I don't know if that's how you say it. Micellar, micellar. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what brand Yeah, I used is. to use that. But I it left my skin dry, which it's not supposed to. I have really dry mm -hmm. skin anyway. So now I use um a balm, like a, oh, what do they call it? It's like a balm, I guess. Makeup removing balm. That's like mm -hmm. um almost waxy and it like melts on your face. You seen those? That's is the one thing I didn't bring. Huh? No, it, it dissolves in water and then you do the double cleanse and you cleanse with your second cleanser. Okay. But I didn't see, I didn't, I discovered those in Korea. Oh, well, discovered. I mean, I didn't know about them until I was there. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like, My I makeup's already off. Yeah. You have I do have some, I don't know if you can see it. I've got some pimples on there, but Mm. I have rosacea, so I'm super rosy anyway. My cheeks are all really, always really red, and I've got some like little postules or something, whatever you get with rosacea, like some little like dots. 
pustules. Yeah, I thought it was acne. I thought I was breaking out in these tiny little like whiteheads. They're little tiny things. And then I went to see my dermatologist and she's like, well, you have rosacea, number one. And number two, these are like little, they're not zits or, you know, tiny little pimples. They're actually pustules, I guess, that are mm -hmm. caused by rosacea flare ups from being in the sun. I literally cannot be in the sun. Sun hates me. So, um, yeah, I guess I was, you know, I live in Texas, so I was out grocery shopping or something and I got like a big breakout. Yay. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, well, okay. So our eyebrows are off. You're all cleansed. Eyebrows are off. I'm going cleansed. And then I do have this snail mucin from uh, Cause RX that I just recently got. Great. Because I hear snail, snail mucin is supposed to help with like inflammation and um, somewhat of scarring and stuff. So I don't know if it's helping or not helping. I think so because it improved a lot. Um, but I always yeah, use yeah, too. Yeah, I always use this one. The glow serum from Beauty of Joseon, and um, I'll try that one. Yeah, this one also I think has snail mucin in it. One of the serums from Beauty of Joseon does. So I use them. There's two different kinds that I use. So, anyways, I'll put a little bit of this on. But I'm gonna do a face mask. So I don't really need that much on. I just put it on my scars. <laughs> it's like I also had um, a biopsy right here, so I use it on that little bit. And I always thought snail mucin was supposed to be like more stickier and tackier. It's not. It doesn't feel that. Maybe it's fake. <laughs> I think they do that on the commercials to make it look like. I don't think that's really snail mucin. Well, no, my, it's not. I've used it's to not. Like it, that does either. That. it does do that. You can see that. It does. Yeah, they do like a. Yeah, yeah. like the whole. No, it does get. Thing. It does do that. But when you put it on, it's not like slimy it feels hydrating it's like more watery so i do that and then i'm gonna put on this one this one is um which one? Oh, i thought i had oh that i have that one i almost put that one but i didn't yeah this is the medeca or centellian and i think you're supposed to keep this on for a while you just wait till it becomes like translucent or something okay. yeah i think you can wear those overnight yeah, I don't know. If some face fun. masks are supposed to only to leave on for like a half an hour because at that point it starts to pull the stuff back out of your skin and back mm -hmm. into the the cloth or whatever it's made out of. So you want to read the directions and make sure you're following it because some, well, depending on the material that it's made out of, it will counter be counterproductive. The directions say ten to twenty minutes, mm -hmm. but I don't know if I ever listen to that. I usually no longer. But you should. <laughs> I don't know. But they do have. They have one now that they've made for overnight masks and it's and a lot of people wear them on planes and they go transparent after but oh well, this um, is not i like the bunny ears thank you it's falling off i i don't have no. that but i have these that i bought in korea these are um what is that wristbands so if you're washing your hands or you're washing your face you know how when you do this and like all the water runs down into your sleeves like it doesn't mm -hmm. they're like sleeve guards so you don't have stuff dripping Okay. Um, ew, I haven't used this one before and it is super gloopy and it's, 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 it's on my neck. <laughs> um, my ears are, I can't open it. So I don't like this Pressure one. It's, it. it's like cloth. It's the cloth material. I like the ones that are more gel material. All right, here it goes. It's mm. going on. Cause the gel ones, they is just like. Hypercellulose? Yeah, no, this is just. Oh, that feels that good. That would be good. Oh, that feels And they're Whoa. usually too big for my face. So I feel like I have to cut it off. But um, do they think can. Face if you look at, um, there's some, you know, like YouTube hacks or whatever, but I have a high nose bridge and you don't. So it never fits me here. So I usually cut them with scissors. Mm. Um, so it fits my face better. And you can cut face masks. Just be careful you don't cut yourself. And just make sure you sterilize your scissors. But you can well, snip parts to make it fit better if you need to. And always save the serum. Put it all over yourself everywhere. <laughs> and there's always a lot left in the packet. And I will kind of fold it over and use it the next day, too. Because there's is there a lot left in there? There's usually a ton. Oh, yeah, you can put it on your tone. arms. There's extra, like, even on the mask. So, okay. So there's this. I, this, again, yeah, I don't want to do that. My mom brought this for me when she was in Korea. She brought it over. So. Mm -hmm. It's my first time using it. It's good um, brand. What is it for? Does it say what it's for? 
This one is for wrink, oh, not wrinkling, whitening and anti-wrinkle. Why do I want new Neither what you need. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, anti-wrinkle is good, but what's my mom trying to say? <laughs> well, it is. <laughs> my mom's like, you're too tan. Everybody in Korea, but, you know, it's all about being with pale skin or whatever, but whatever. Yeah. We'll see how it works out. It is sliding off my face, though. Okay. Don't you have a face know, mask? Don't worry about too much. I'm going to slide off. Don't you have one? Okay, so I'm going to do, um, this is my favorite brand in the world. This is Innisfree. Oh, I have an Innisfree. Yeah, that was for me. Oh, this was for you? Back. Where yes. did I get this? Okay. You brought them for you. Okay, cool. They have some different packaging, but I actually have now, but I actually have these from my last trip. I've got like three bags of face masks that I just keep bringing home and forget to use. So um, I'm going to use this one. I was actually going to use this MediHeal one because look at this, y'all. This stuff is like next level tech. They have these little ampules that you mm -hmm. break and squeeze into here and then it activates. And then you put that. I'm not actually sure how it works. I haven't used one yet. Um, and you like right move now. around and you put it on your face. Hmm? It's a little heavy because it's heavier plastic that you just kind of put it on right now let's see you with that one on no 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 no. it's too complicated and i i'm gonna get it all over i'm not in my i would normally put something like that on in the bathroom because it is messy and i'm gonna get this all yeah, over too. My desk all over my desk it's fine yeah exactly i don't want to get that one's really gloopy i don't want it but the i love the innisfree ones you can get um they were on sale and it was twenty thousand one. Oh gosh, I don't know conversion. So okay, so basically these are a dollar fifty a mask, which is insane considering it's a high end brand and a high end mm -hmm. mask. Um, so if you want to go shopping on your vacation, leave room in your bag for masks because you can get a lot. Like this mask here probably would cost around six bucks a mask. So I just ordered insane. a bunch of uh, makeup and uh, skincare off of um, mm -hmm. Yes Style. And Yes Style is wow. a legit, it's a legitimate company where you can get Korean skincare and I mean, Japanese skincare and not just skincare, like health and beauty products. And so uh -huh. I just ordered more beauty tools and stuff. <laughs> That's so weird. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so <laughs> because I don't, have to, <laughs> I don't have to wait for her. <laughs> Anyone who goes to Korea to bring me back stuff. Um, and I don't have to <laughs> worry about scary shipping costs. Because Yes Style has like, if you spend like $49, they ship to you for free standard. So go check and out Yes Style. This is not a commercial, so you guys can trust us. <laughs> well, I was going to say, there's also like Style Vana. Um, I forget the other one. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Amazon. there's a few. Um, because yeah, like, pretty decent places. Cores RX from Amazon, so I'm like hoping this is real, but I think it is because Cores yes, RX, I you have to be careful yeah. of um, on, on Amazon, you have to be careful of um, fake products, yeah. But so, I did research, of course, uh, I call them Cores RX, Cause RX, um, they say it's the actual Cause RX brand on Amazon, the store there, and it's listed as a reseller on the Cause RX. Mm -hmm. so should be real um and then i also have to have my um i'm obsessed with lip balm ah okay. which one do you You're using the papa 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 the lucas papa lucas papa um why do i have this hold it up to the camera mm -hmm. you don't I like this one, though, i gave you one it's okay it's okay i don't i don't dislike it it's it's all right. I actually like it more than other stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm almost out. I, I, I don't mind it, but I also don't like the squeeze sometimes because too much comes out mm. right now. Um, but I did order more lip balms from Yes Style too. And um the lip balms now lately it's called like melting lip balms or something, and they melt mm -hmm. and they leave like tint. So mm -hmm. we'll see. Cause there's like all those like Korean accent 
not just what it's actors and K-pop idols who use a lot of lip balms and like their lips always look so yes. pretty. So I'm like, I, I need to look like a Korean K-pop guy. So God help us. Okay. I have this, um, this is Laneige. And I'm not good at this kind of stuff. Do you put your hand in front of it? Laneige makes a lot of lip masks and there's different flavors and I'm obsessed with them. The only thing I don't like is you have to stick your finger in the pot and put it on, but this is an overnight lip mask. And your, your lips, like there's a, it's a mask, which is nice. <laughs> I don't have a big upper lip. So like my mask is in the way. Um, but you're like face. Well, I'm a side sleeper, so I could never do this. And then with these kind of things, my lips will stick to <laughs> with these. This Laneige one is really good. It sinks in right away and you're not sticky. I, sticky is the bane of my existence. Maybe because my name is Vicky. I don't like things that are sticky. I'm See, a rapper. I'm the face mask on you and on me. Like, I just have too much extra bits. I, I, think I do around here. Yeah, I think they need to start making, like, small, medium, large faces. Um, like, girl, those are from Korea. They have your face there. It's not, see, mine was, like, a gap. Because too much. It's too wasteful. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, okay, my hair is getting treatment, too, I guess, so it's fine. There should oh. be, like, a child size mask. It probably is. I did bring back for show and tell. Um, I brought back a lot of this stuff. If you want to see some of the different kind of face masks that I got over there, they got everything. I don't have a child one though, surprisingly enough. Um, they had, I did see there's a lot of children's like, um, sunscreen and little like compacts that they put on when they're at school. Um, children, so like some... elementary school kids use compacts, you're huh? saying? like elementary school what? age? Yes. <laughs> like 10 year olds are using compacts for sunscreen. Oh, for sunscreen, sunscreen in the compact. Mm -hmm. oh, that's cool. And they take it with them and they put it on at recess or their teachers put it on or whatever. That's another thing They're I ordered. I ordered a sun, um, sun protection spray because when I have to reapply, I like, cause I use this one. This is again, beauty of Chosun. And I love mm. this, but reapplying it, you know, I'm trying to like go around my eyebrows that I already drew in and <laughs> whatnot. And so I figured if I just do a spray, it'll be so much easier. Yeah, but actually that's not the case because when you even when you spray, you have to rub it in. I don't know. Supposedly you don't have to. We'll see. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Do we have any dermatologists out there? Chime in. I believe according to dermatology, you have to rub it in anyway. But it's better than nothing. So at least you're, you know, putting something um, on there. I just heard you just missed it on. Stop calling me. Missed it on, and it'll be all good. <laughs> I'm not calling you this time. I can't talk, and he's moving my mask around because it's all so listeners. I can't stand it. Why they always call around this time? They're like, Oh, they these people are off work now. Let me call you and bother you. Oh, God. And even if I put like the do blocks and do not call, they find a way around. They're so annoying. But, yeah, anyway. well, it, one of the one of the um. Have you seen these things now that have the little spikes in them? The little um, neat micro needling patches and things like that now that are supposed to deliver uh, more of the serum into your skin? No, I know so of the, like, the um, patches that have the little needle. Yeah, things, the little micro darts. Yeah, micro darts are kind of like the thing over there for a while. And this one is a little, um, it's a trouble cure. So it is for acne. Can you see the little dots, the little spikes there? Yeah. This one is for um, under your eyes, which I desperately need. But it's got the little tiny micro darts. And see, what I have is, um, I have the micro needle roller. That I, I do too, on. but I stopped using it. Um, I don't know. I just, I saw enough about it that I was like, they have these now serums in Korea where they've got the needles in the serum. It's supposed to be just as effective and more um, hygienic because you have to be really careful to clean your roller because you don't want to roll bacteria into those needles and stuff like that. And I don't know. I mean, did, you, did you notice that it helped you at all? Like, did you notice that it was doing anything? I didn't really notice that much effect with it. So I, I probably it. used it like once or twice because it hurt. <laughs> Maybe I was pressing too hard. I was like, ah! I liked and I it, <laughs> but it's weird. I'm like one of those people that I like getting tattoos because I like the feeling of needles in my skin. 
oh god okay i know i'm gonna no. hear that from steam forever but like there is a sort of thing where your brain like likes that sensation and you yeah. get addicted to tattoos and stuff like that i could see that happening but i kind of liked rolling it yeah i don't know um, it was different because it's on my face i'm just like what if yeah. i'm scarring my face because i'm rolling that's so hard. the thing i was worried about too is getting some kind of infection and scarring myself yeah so um but yeah, you can get them in the serums, which I have not ordered yet. Medicube makes a really good one. Um, or you can get them in the patches, which is good too. And then these MetaHeal, speaking of which, these eye patches, oh my God, people, if you want to get an eye patch, these are these hydrogel patches and they're just like essence gel. And they are like jelly and you it's like jello and you put it on your eye and it basically kind of melts into your skin. It's like half the size when you take it off. And these things... Um, I have like a lot of baggage under my eyes. It doesn't really help with I that, but it is good with love um, me now. Hmm? You don't bring me back that stuff. How come you only no. keep it for Instagram? You don't have that. You're you you do not have eye bags. Your face is fine. No, I give you an overall mask because you don't need that. Uh here's another one. This is a Sika ampule focusing patch. Micro focusing has the little darts on it. I think this oh, is for yeah. um, retinol. So if you've got like, um, you know, like 11s or smile lines or something, I'll bring so you this next time. Dark, so you like have to actually like stick, stick it onto your face so that you're like. Yeah. And it is like little, I mean, it's, they're hard. They're like little needles that darts that go into your skin. I mean, it, you don't bleed or anything. It's not like, it's not going deep enough into the skin where your blood vessels are. Mm -hmm. So, but it's, you know, that, that top layer, it's penetrating so that you get more serum in there um okay. this is an interesting one this is um this is for um masks <laughs> so this is, is for the mask? lower half of the face when people were wearing their masks all the time they were getting masks oh, yeah and so they've got a whole um line now this is called mask zone but there's a whole bunch of them that have just just the lower half masks to help with um clearing up your skin when if you've got issues with wearing a mask all the time and then this one is a chin lift a chin lift which i actually needed it for here i've got like a like a not a double chin but like genetically i'd have like a curvy chin but um this is supposed to be a chin lift and it actually you can't see it in this picture but it goes up over your ears and like hold your head up it's not that I think of. I don't know how they think of all this stuff. I feel like I might have tried uh, a chin lift. Oh, I My had that. So Aren't these nice? Those little booties you put in. I love those. Um, this is another version of it. Oh, this one. Have you seen the foot peel ones? So this one. Oh, my lights are glaring. You can see it like peeling off skin. So these are the ones where you you put them on. I don't know if it's, I'm assuming it's some kind of acid, but I really don't know. It's more Korean than I understand. But um, you put these little booties on and you let these sit for, I think it's like a half an hour. And then over the course of the week, you're, all your dead layers of skin start to peel off like a sunburn. Mm, and stuff. all your skin peels off. And then you have baby soft feet at the end. which I, It does actually work. It's really cool. This is for your tummy. For your... Big old fat belly. This was only two thousand one. This is like a dollar fifty. Not even that. And what is that um, supposed to? They do? don't work. Cellulite. They don't work. But they're supposed to make your belly flat. Um, sure. Which is it impossible, might be, but you know, it might be soft. I don't know about making it flat. Um, I bought it, so I guess they. You know, it works. This is also um, it's called Help My Fingers. It's Etude House, which is also a really famous brand there. But it um, I noticed this when. During COVID, when I was constantly putting on um, antibacterial gel, uh -huh. that my fingertips were always dried and cracked. So they actually saw a need there, and they made these, and you, they just go on the little tips of your fingers so that your fingers don't crack and dry. Nice. Brilliant. Like stuff you would never even think that, why, why would they? This is a regular hand mask. I think I just drank some of my mask. Ugh. <laughs> You're getting essence on the inside. Yeah. This yeah. is um, some Japanese stuff I got. This is um, was a, a gift from my friend Jan Anthony. This is like a ten pack of rice masks. These are fabulous. 
Um, these are great for when you're walking around Korea and you're about to die because you just fit up your 8,000 step. These are also Japanese, but they're like pain and cooling relief patches that you can put all over your legs for when, and it actually shows you science on the back of like where people's <laughs> blood and heat goes to that you can relieve it with. It's crazy. And you got your, um, black head patches. I'm going to take huh? this. My mask is drying. <laughs> I think it's been dry. Okay, take it a reveal. But tell me, um, thank you for the show and tell. Um, yeah, yeah. Tell, tell us about what was the questions you had about inflammation or like. Oh, so when I went to their dermatologist and I found out I had um, rosacea on my skin now, you know, one thing that you can do to combat like flare ups and stuff is um, anti inflammatory diet and supplements and all that kind of stuff. And so um, I remember talking to my doctor about that for other various things, medical reasons. And um, oh, you and I talked about it a lot, but I couldn't remember the specifics. Sorry to interrupt you, work. but my face is so nice after I'm peeling that mask off. It's so smooth. Is it good? <laughs> It's so hydrated right now. It feels good. Because you didn't like it. You said you didn't like the paper masks, but you like it? I don't like the paper masks, but I love the serum. It feels really good on my face. It's, well, that's um, good. Do I do I look more paler? <laughs> I don't know. Are you whiter and less wrinkled? Here, come up close to the close to the camera. <laughs> this, this is as white as usual. Anyways, that was this one that I used. So, sent, sent, was it sent to, sent to something? It's Centellian 24 Medeca uh, Derma Mask, it's called. Um, nice. I mean, nice. Uh, um, so, yeah, you were going to your Yeah, so and, anyway, I was like, okay, I should talk to Rachel about what the anti inflammatory diet is. Because I think for a brief hot second, that first time I started taking the turmeric pills. Mm -hmm. And they don't really agree with my stomach. I got a lot of like acid reflux and stuff out of it. So I ended up stop, stopping taking it. And I don't know that that summit really is for me. So I was like, okay, what besides, I know like what salmon, what are you supposed to eat for an anti-inflammatory diet? I don't even really remember anymore. Or what have you found that works in that capacity? Well, first thing is there's the, um, I know there's the autoimmune protocol. Usually it's called the AIP diet. And that's usually uh -huh. anti-inflammatory. So you would stay away uh -huh. from nightshades. So like eggplants, tomatoes, um, peppers, I think eggs. There's a lot of um, things that help with the anti-inflammatory. Um, red meat is inflammatory. So you would stay away from red meat. So you would go more plant-based. Um, but even plant-based, you don't want to eat like beans and legumes because they're, they can be inflammatory too, I believe. Um, but I think there's a book that they stay away from alcohol. She's like, do you drink? I was like, mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, girl, I was out last night. Girl. I don't drink. What? I was out yeah. last night. I don't drink. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. and I just a glass of wine. Uh -huh. First of all, the glass of wine made me pretty like loopy. And one then, glass? One glass. That's all it takes. Okay. <laughs> For everyone out there, <laughs> have a cheap date. <laughs> one glass of wine. <laughs> but yeah, I woke up this morning. I was like, oh my gosh, why did I drink that glass of wine? Because my face is swollen and bloated and inflamed and like everything on me, my whole like hands, everything hurts. So alcohol definitely, definitely is inflammatory. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, babe. You're gonna have to stop the alcohol if you want to help yourself with the inflammation. <laughs> but really, this is what I tell everyone for anything. When I had COVID, when I have bad skin when i'm tired you know <laughs> drink lots of water tons and tons and tons of water i do drink tons of water though i do do that that's one thing so i got that one in the bag because that'll help and then okay fish oil or omegas you want to take omegas i take that already 
but for an anti omega three and omega six vegan um, vegan fish a vegan supplement. Mm -hmm. You want to be, make sure you're taking enough. I think people don't take enough. Um, and then you want to make sure you're taking. Uh, well, you said you started magnesium, so magnesium is really helpful. Yeah, I actually was taking too much of that. Um, I just got my blood test back and my doctor was like, you need to take half of what you're taking. So um, I had to cut that back. So um, yeah, I overdosed my magnesium. So be careful of that. Yeah. But with foods, there are definitely inflammatory foods. And um, I don't know if there's like anti, there is anti-inflammatory, but you just think like turmeric wasn't feeling good. You can yeah. eat turmeric. That's the big, is that the main one? Um, and you know, ginger, but turmeric's more potent. My, um, I had a gastroenterologist, um, uh, back in the day who told me that, cause I ate a lot of turmeric. I ate a lot of ginger, but like the actual turmeric root and ginger root, I would put it in juices. I would put it in everything I ate. And my gastro was saying how you can eat all the turmeric you want. You're never going to get to the potency that you need for the anti-inflammatory effects. So you have to take the pills, but the pills would, um, Turmeric with like, I don't know, I still have serum on here. Turmeric with like I know, um, I keep black mine in. I think it is I had I got it, I had a supplement that had turmeric, ginger, black pepper, and something else in it. And I think it was too much for my stomach. My stomach just went Ugh. were you taking an empty stomach? What were you doing? Or full stomach? Whatever the I didn't oh, I should have brought it on the show. Whatever it is, I didn't I don't remember. It might have I might have been I think I just put it in with my morning supplement, so I probably ate it after breakfast. Yeah. But I, you know, I don't do well on a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because that's Especially. the other thing. You need too many supplements at once. That's pretty. Yeah. Nauseating. I do. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, at least I'm. You know, other than the alcohol, I'm doing well. So I just have to. I mean, dairy is inflammatory. So you want to stay away from dairy. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, shit. I eat a lot of dairy. I know. I eat a I, lot of dairy. I drink like I drink like four cups of coffee a day. Is coffee inflammatory? Yeah. And I have milk in it. Ma'am, when you were in Korea, your whole diet consisted of basically baked goods with dairy. <laughs> so you do eat dairy. A lot of I mean, I don't eat that here, but there, yeah, I ate that. I would eat it here if I could get it. I just can't get it in the quantities, but mm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. I do eat a lot of dairy. But that's what I'm saying. It's yeah. mostly you should stick to more plant-based. And when I say plant-based, it doesn't mean vegan. Plant-based is different right. from vegan. Um, you just eat like more 80 to 20%, 80% plants, maybe 20% meats, or you just eat meat less often or animal products left off less often. So um, you want to make sure lots of dark leafy greens help. Um, yeah, it's, I'd have, I'll have to go through my notes again. Cause I had extensive notes on the inflammatory and cause there was different sections of my life. Like, okay, I have to eat the foods that are anti-inflammatory, but I also have to eat the foods that are, um, you know, what was it? Good for blood circulation. <laughs> and there was, uh -huh. ones, um, uh, bloat relieving or yeah, yes. All, yeah. But the anti-inflammatory kind of covers all of that. If you stick to an anti-inflammatory diet, it'll kind of cover all those things and help out with all those things. I remember alcohol was a big one for you. I remember that because we've talked about that a lot. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. But I couldn't remember what your other ones were that you, because I know you had, like you said, tried oh, everything. But sugar is another yeah. big one. Sugar is very inflammatory. Sugar. Well, okay. When I'm home, I don't do any sugar because my, my brother that I live with is diabetic. So we don't have any sugar in the house. <clears throat> the only thing we have is um, monk fruit sugar substitute, but we don't, I don't do sugar. I mean, I don't do like sodas, sugar, anything with it. Um, even like ketchup, we have the, the no sugar ketchup. So like we, you know, I really have I so just go di full diabetic when I go to Korea, unfortunately. No you're happier <laughs> when you're in Korea. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason that. why you're happier. My voice is now going. Apparently, if you use a mask, your voice goes. <clears throat> um, 
Maybe the key is the an best anti-inflammatory diet is to be happy. No, and I that, say that I say that you know jokingly, but I think it, there is something to it. That like was you're causing your inflammation. No, it's all that stuff that no. you didn't get caught up with you. No, if you're happy, your body's happy. <laughs> you are. Yes, there's happy. Happiness does make a big, you know, difference. <laughs> Um, yeah, eat all the cake, eat all the yeah, sugar. You let them eat cake, life's short. Go eat cake, it. go for it. <laughs> I'll just um, have breakouts. I'm fine. I got a medication for my rosacea. I eat the goddamn cake. Um, uh, anyway, well, I'm starting to feel nauseous. I think I ate too much of my oint, my serum. Ladies and gentlemen, do not eat your serum. It is topical. Yeah, I mean, I forgot because I was I had it on my hands and I rubbed my lips with it because I was putting it, and then I drank it. I took, I, I ate it. Don't do that, people. Don't eat your serum. <laughs> don't eat your serum. Your and on that note, I guess uh, <laughs> we should let Rachel go and throw up in the. <laughs> I can't feel my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> oh god well, anyway I mean, not any help to you at all for your anti-inflammatory question no it's you were you just told me to give up the things i don't want to give up so i guess i have to decide what's just more important so you know listen i'm no expert but you know you should always listen to me <laughs> no. <laughs> I do, I do, I do. I listen to you and then I don't take your advice, which is what you do to me too. So that's what friends are for, to give you advice you're not going to listen to. <clears throat> My voice is now going. That's telling me that I should stop talking. That's the universe yeah. saying, Vicky. I'm going to go eat. I'm hungry. I'm okay, eat. Tanya. That's how Thanks for the, the one person, I don't know, whoever, whoever watched live. Oh, we'll no. be rebroadcast so you guys get to enjoy us later. Do I do the outro Again. for the lives? Probably not. I just end it. <laughs> yes, I think so. Sure. I don't know. Oh, do we it. had a comment, but we missed it. <laughs> oh. oh, now it's Steven. <laughs> it's Steven. We don't it's care. Steven. <laughs> Steven. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we'll right. see you guys next week. Um. Yeah. Hopefully. Next week. Bye, Vicky. Bye, everybody. Bye.